Today we're looking at obliques, Jeff. What do we need to know about obliques? Well, this is kind of the in vogue injury from last season, and, and it was dominated the headlines. Tons of guys went down with it. We already mentioned Corey Hart, Brian Wilson from last year, um, Evan Longoria had one. And, and again, it, it's, it's an injury that's suddenly becoming more and more diagnosed, even though it was probably still there. And, and it's a very significant injury, it's a very painful injury, and you have to understand what is going on. Uh, there's two types of obliques. You've got your internal and your external, and you can see there that the bottom ones on the left, your internal and your external obliques, and they work together to perform trunk rotation. You know, they work with, with the opposite group on the opposite side. A lot of times when you, when you see an oblique strain on a pitcher, it, it's on the opposite side of where their shoulder is. And you can see in this picture of John Lester, a lot of times with, with pitchers, the problem for obliques is there's two opposite axes of rotation. We look at the shoulders and we look at the hips. And, and with Lester here, you know, the axis of rotation and the shoulder and arm are moving in a different direction for the hips and, and the pelvis. And one now, is now let me stop you for a minute and looking at that picture. So I would think it would be the opposite. Left Lester, who's obviously a power Lester, a power pitcher. You're telling me that the right oblique is where he out out exterior oblique is what's in danger, and that traditionally it's the left interior oblique, or is it the opposite way so, around? So so if if he he's a lefty, so his his le when he pitches. He's bringing, bringing that across the body, so the right internal oblique and his left external oblique. And, and, and what happens there is, is that one's working as the accelerator and one's working as the brakes, and, and you get that violent motion of throwing, and it, it overloads. A lot of times the, what we're finding out isn't necessarily the, the underdevelopment of the core or the oblique, but something going on with the pelvis and hip.